As a young child, I had an experimental physics kit, an electronics kit, a chemistry set, and a telescope to observe the night sky, and that was what excited me as a child. Later, I read stories about Einstein and all the audacious physicists who developed quantum mechanics prior to World War II, and these stories captivated my imagination. That's when I knew I wanted to become a physics professor. My name is Christian Holm, and I've been working here at the University of Stuttgart since 2009 as director of the Institute for Computational Physics. Today all the simple problems in physics have been essentially solved, and when we think about how we could solve more complex problems, we need to employ new methods. Computational physics allows us to create certain representations of reality using specialized algorithms, and to see what physics results from the assumptions inherent in a particular algorithm. While this may sound rather abstract, I think we are making significant contributions to a deeper understanding of physics. For example, we have developed our own simulation program, which has allowed us to achieve fundamental results that could not have been obtained by experiments or purely analytical work. We benefit from a very interdisciplinary environment, collaborating not just with other physicists, but also chemists and biologists. In order to expand the range of systems we can study, we are also regularly developing new algorithms. One might have the impression that we use the computer like an ordinary piece of laboratory equipment, but there's also a certain art to doing physics on a computer.